The first night here, yeah, you're a little nervous. Well, I'm not so nervous. It's just there's so much going on, and it's like there's not enough time to do anything. And oh, the night comes real quick. Yeah, it does, and it's like the word is. Uh, confident about everything yet. I haven't had time to sort everything out. It's since I started this, great things haven't stopped happening. I mean, it gets to the point where you don't know how to handle any good news anymore. It's, everything is great. And, you know, when, when you dream of things, you don't even dream of those. You just dream of being in a band and getting the chance to do it, let alone like, the records and the awards. Is this pretty close to the dream, being with Ozzy and starting out with this magnificent stage? Well, I think this is beyond it because I mean, I'm really lucky to jump from a local band to a, a headline this big. You know? Well, but I don't think that even Ozzy realized what was going to happen. I mean, we're in a depressed no. situation no. here. And to come out with an album, two million copies. No, he didn't realize. I mean, when we got together, it was just like we'll just knock it out and, and see what happens we'll go for it we'll see what happens that's, we'll take our chances that's right and uh, I think he was really shocked as well we go in the studio we just sort of all do our own thing like Ozzy does his vocals how he wants and I go in the, the control room and do my guitars how I want I mean he's not there really and it you know we sort of put it together that way in the studio. Like, well, we come in with a vague idea of what we want, but it all comes to life in the studio. It's not like we have it down beforehand. We wrote both the albums, like, in the country, and we had, we had a house, a bit of atmosphere. And I think it's great. There's no distractions. And it's a nice environment, with a clean hand. But Tommy Aldridge. Oh, he's great. Isn't it fun working with him? Uh, he was always my favorite. Was he? Oh, I saw him years ago on television when he was a black guy. You're kidding. Knocked out. Ah!